What's up little M's beauty babes? So right now I'm going to be doing a story time for you guys about the time that I had a really, really weird Uber driver in New York City. So before I get started, give this video a fat thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to always be notified with my videos, comment what you guys think of this story time, and if you guys do want to hear more story times, please let me know down in the comments, and let's get this started. Okay, so the time that I had a really, really weird Uber driver. Um, so pretty much I was at my boyfriend's house and it was probably, what time was it? It was probably close to getting to 11 o'clock at night. And, no, maybe like 10, 30, 11, yeah. So, I was, I pretty much, um paid for an Uber to come to his house to pick me up and um, I put it on his phone so he could track me just to make sure because I'm I was a worry war I that was my first time ever going in a cab alone in New York City like anytime I went in a cab was with my mom when we lived out there or like my sisters like any of them we I was always with somebody and that was my first time riding alone and of course I got a weird Uber driver, um, but anyways, so I put it on his phone, and I was smart enough to do that, because I didn't put it on my own phone, that would be really stupid of me, so I pretty much paid for it, and then, you know, me and my boyfriend were waiting downstairs, and the car pulls up, and I gave him my, my boyfriend a bunch of kisses, I was so sad that I was leaving, <laughs> but um, I went into the Uber, and I don't know what nationality this guy was. I wasn't even paying attention. And I stood on the phone. I was actually texting my boyfriend the whole time. Because I was really nervous. Like, for real nervous. And pretty much this guy, like, once we got, like, off my boyfriend's block, this guy started trying to talk to me. Now, I get it. I get it. They're supposed to make communication, whatever. Just to get a good rating. I get that. But this guy, nah. He was asking me too much personal questions. He's like, the first thing he asked me was, oh, where are you coming from? And he noticed that I was with my man. You know, like, common sense who I was with. And um, he's like, oh, is anybody home where you live? And I, I was just ignoring him. He's like, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, and he started getting nasty with me. I was like, oh, hell no. So I called my boyfriend up, and, like, I started noticing that he was driving, a, like, a harder way, if that makes sense. Like, he tried to, not that he tried to, but, like, he was driving a longer way. That way I was in the car longer with him. And, like, typical people, you know, common sense, they're shortcuts to get to where I needed to be. So, and he went the hardest route, like, I, I just didn't understand why he went the hardest route, but he pretty much went, he, first of all, he went in a circle the first time, and he didn't know where he, the fuck he was going, and that's when I started getting nervous, because he was, like, asking me questions, he's like, Oh, are you going to a family member's house? Is anybody home at your house? Like, he was, like, just weird questions. And, like, I was really nervous. Like, my heart was pumping really fast because, like, I did not expect that. Like, especially, like, come on. I'm a young girl. You're, like, 40 years old. Like, come on now. So, <clears throat> I was texting my boyfriend, and I was like, yo, this Uber driver is mad weird. And he's like, why? What's going on? Blah, blah, blah. And I said, he keeps asking me personal questions. So he kept going on, and we were driving. And mind you, it said when I put the, you know, put my address and then put my boyfriend's address, it said that I'll be home in 20 minutes. I didn't get home for 40 minutes because this guy was going in circles. And I was so pissed off. Like, I was so pissed off. Because, first of all, he was asking me questions. He he almost got in a car accident. Because he's not paying attention to me. He's looking in the rear mirror. Like, 
just to look at me and like legit I was so scared that day we were going where were we going we were going like like in this intersection and this this guy literally darted like the cab darted and it was like you know it was like a yellow light so he's you know he was speeding and then this other car came to turn and thank god the other car stopped because we were so close to getting hit that day and he's like oh I'm sorry ma'am I'm sorry I was like I was like what the fuck just happened so I was after that I was just like whoa and then he's still asking me questions like oh are you single can I have your number blah 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 and I was like yo get me the fuck out of this car so finally he gets to my sister's house and pulls up on the wrong side of the block but I was like you know what at this point I was like right here is good right here is good and I got out of the car as fast as I can and he was sitting there for a good five minutes watching me to see what what house I would go into I'm not stupid enough I grew up in New York so I wasn't stupid enough to show him like which house I was in because he was just hella weird so I was just walking up and down the block and then I acted like and then he you know he sped off and then I called my boyfriend like all shooken up he's like are you okay and I was like yeah I'm okay it's just you know this guy he was like really weird and like he stood like for an extra five minutes like to see like I guess what house I was going into like I'm not stupid enough because I know how people are they could sneak behind you and then boom that's it you're raped whatever it, whatever it is this guy was so weird that he was like legit watching me asking me personal questions that didn't need to even be asked so my boyfriend my boyfriend told his mom about it and then his mom called the company and com made a complaint because of what happened and yeah so I was pretty shooken up that day and yeah that was my weird Uber driver experience um apparently like you know I don't even know what to say like I know there's weirdos out there but like come on now like do your freaking job I'm paying you to do your job just leave me alone and just drive and then this dude almost gets in a car accident like that's why I had to make a complaint because it was just not happening that day like no 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 and pretty much I just got in my sister's house I ate food and yeah and I talked to my boyfriend the rest of the night um so yeah that's my story time um I hope you guys enjoy Give this video a fat thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.